one of the hot verticals for many years beneath was the whole BFSI space and that's one area globally which has seen a whole lot of change. Going forward, do you think that will continue to be a big driver or Indian IT has to look beyond to some of the sectors you talked about? I think BFSI will continue because it is almost a 40-50% a spender in global IT and spends trillions of dollars. Uh, there are two aspects of uh, the finance industry which is very interesting. Number one is it is just coming out of its worst period. Uh, and therefore, it has been able to hold its head up uh, on period where lots of people said that they will, you know, lie back and play dead. Uh, as they come back out of recession and start looking at new opportunities and new avenues of making revenues, they are very clear that the opportunities are going to be around the retail customer. Uh, and around the individual customers and around their ability to be able to sell more products in the digital form to those, to those customers. They're also coming to a conclusion that emerging market with so many people is the place where they're going to see the next trajectory of growth. So the finance industry is going through a significant transformation, uh, both in thinking, market opportunities, and product offering. And therefore, the IT uh, which they're going to deploy in digitalization of their organization to be able to get to that opportunity is a very interesting opportunity which is available to all uh, the global uh, global pairs. Indian IT is already embedded fairly well in almost all uh, financial services customers. Now, Indian IT has managed to help them in their efficiency and their cost issues and effectiveness issues. Would Indian IT be able to rise up and give them opportunities in, in terms of ideas, in terms of uh, execution in all the countries they want and participate in their transformation agenda is a big question. If they are, then BFSI will continue to be dominant in the Indian IT sector, in the growth of the Indian IT sector. Do, do you foresee the coming year better for Indian IT than the previous year? Uh, so, I think from a short-term point of view, the momentum is behind Indian IT. You have seen uh, most of the results which have come out. They are indicating to the fact that Indian IT is doing very well. Uh, so, in the short and medium term, I think the momentum is with Indian IT. What, what I would watch very carefully is how Indian IT responds in the three to seven year time frame. And for that, what in kind of investments they're making today to be able to be as relevant as they are today for the customers in three to seven. That would be my... And, uh, and you're saying that's still an open question. That's a question mark. That though we have to watch out for real dollar investment, real structural change, real, real leadership uh, reassessment. You know, we have to see a lot of that to be able to show that they will dominate the three to seven years as they dominate today.